Marvel. Hello guys and girls, welcome to my channel, it's Lurgs here and today the Mercedes C-Class, the fuse box locations. This is the Mercedes C-Class here and there are actually two fuse boxes on this Mercedes and I will show you both of those. So the first one is inside here, inside the driver's door and it's behind this panel here. Now you don't want to damage this so I've just got a flat bedded screwdriver with an old rag around it and you just prise it out from there. And then just pull it out and kind of pull it towards you. And that is where the fuses are. And there's a link above now about how to test fuses without having to pull them out. And if you're lucky enough to have a good owner, then you will still have the old fuse allocation diagrams. And I will show you those later on in this video. You can pull each fuse out and hold it up to the light to see if it's blown or not. And this one is perfect. Okay, so just put the panel back in, just be gentle with this, it's just a few clips. Then just give it a pop. There we go, that's done and dusted. Oh, let's stop for a quick cup of tea. If you're going to be working on the motor, always have a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Right, so the second fuse box is under the engine bay. And to open the bonnet, there's a link above now about how to do that. And the engine fuse box is up here on the left hand side. Obviously if you're in America or you've got a left hand drive vehicle, everything that I'm saying will be on the other side of the car. So you've just got two clips at the top there, they just turn a quarter anti-clockwise and then it just slots out of there. Now the fuse box is actually here and you've just got two clips like you get on the top of a Grolsch beer bottle. So just pull those down and let the metal levers kind of hang loose. Once you've got that released from the clip, just lift it up gently and then pull it towards you. And there we go, that is where the other fuses are and you've also got some relays in there as well. As I said earlier, there is a link earlier about how to test fuses without having to pull them all out if you've got something that's gone wrong. And that is where the second fuse box is. Right, just to put this lid back on, you've got this clip at the back where that sits in so make sure that lines up with the cover that it sits on top of there to just slide it in make sure you've got a good fit it should just sit in there perfectly if it doesn't fit take it back out and wiggle it back in again put the metal clips underneath those plastic divots there we go see it's just caught there and then this one, once it's caught underneath, then you can just raise the clip upwards just to tighten it down. Oh, what a satisfying clip, click. Oh, satisfying. Right, and then you've just got the second cover to put on. Now this has just got a groove here, make sure it slides into that. And then you've just got the two clips at the top. So just slide that into there. And then line those clips up at the top and that is just a quarter turn. Just to lock them in, doesn't matter which way you go, but let's just go clockwise, just force of habit. So as he says that, I do it anti-clockwise. <laughs> Right, there we go. So that is the two fuse boxes on the Mercedes C-Class. Now this is the fuse allocation book. Obviously I'm going through these very quickly, but if you want to see any of those, you've got the beauty of pausing the video. Now not all of these fuses will be on your car, depends on how many gadgets you've got on it.
Now, if you've got a very flashy C-Class model, there might also be a fuse box at the back there in the boot. But the front two there, um, that's just a mirror image, depending on if you've got a left-hand drive or a right-hand drive vehicle. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really, really cool. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel.